Um, so I say you want to change the slide, please. <laughs> uh, keep in the, the beginning. Okay, that's good. So, uh, good morning or good afternoon. I am Rodrigo from Bangkok. And here with me, you can see Mr. Enio. That Hello. is one of our executive directors. And Bettina, that's our human resources uh, manager. Hello. Uh, I say that I, I speak in behalf of Bangkok and Sikod Confederation. Now we have the same uh, board of directors and the same executive managers. So all the actions are coordinated between these two institutions uh, to, to provide the services to the corps uh, from CICOM, okay? Uh, so we started uh, here with the, the case in the world, so the COVID-19. Uh, we have now almost uh, 800,000 cases in the world and almost 40,000 uh, deaths. Uh, this is in Portuguese because I, I took this from a website in Brazil. And this is the overview of the world right now. Uh, Shad, next slide, please. Uh, this is the actual situation in Brazil. Uh, you can see that now we have about uh, 4,000 uh, cases and uh, 159 uh, deaths until now. I would say that we are in the really beginning. Uh, as you can see in the right uh, square, uh, we have a rank from the cities that we are that are most, most affected. You can see São Paulo uh, is as the first. Rio, we have a uh, not informed uh, just below, and we have Brasilia, that where we are right now in fifth uh, fifth uh, position. So uh, you can see that, in the, like in the most countries, the main uh, cities, the metropolis, were the most affected places and the most uh, uh, spread uh, virus inside the country. So here in Brazil, we have still some places that they are not so aware of it. Uh, of course, the government are, are dealing with this, but uh, many places, they don't have the even cases yet, small places. Uh, but if, if you see the, the big cities, you can see uh, situations like in Europe, okay? Next slide, please. Uh, Shad, just uh, put below a little bit because I have a timeline. Uh, a little bit more, please. Yeah, that's fine. Too much. No, go above. You, you change the page, please. Yes, okay, okay. Yes. So, uh, February, in the end of February, we had the first case here in Brazil. It appeared in Sao Paulo, uh, and uh, only in March, 11th March, we had the first movements from the government uh, to close or to do something about it. Uh, Federal District, that's here in Brasilia, uh, was the first state or the first um, big city that took some kind of action to do something. So. Uh, federal district just decrease, no more classes, no more events, uh, more than 100 people. Uh, places like restaurants should have a uh, space from at least two meters from each other. Uh, in this, this week, we had a big sales event here in Sikó. Uh, it, it should be here in Brasilia. And two days before, we had to cancel it based on the decrees and based on what, were, what, uh, was, what was seen in the television and the news. Uh, our events were about 2,000, more than 2,000 people. Yeah. 
people coming from uh, all parts of Brazil, and they had to cancel the, the visa. Uh, so in Rio and Sao, and Sao Paulo, they took more time to do something. Uh, about March 19th, we had like Rio and uh, Federal Street closing all the public places, the parks and the gym academies, all the shops uh, was closed. We, keep, we kept only the essential services and delivery services are allowed. Um, and in Rio, they also uh, suspended the transport between cities and other states. So people had to, uh, can, could not go from one place to another. Uh, on March 20, Sao Paulo decreased social calamity. When they do that, they can uh, take some action that usually depends on approval, but uh, having this kind of situation, they can be more efficient uh, to do uh, some actions to try to, to stop the uh, pandemic. And uh, for a day later, Sao Paulo closes all, all commercial premises, only essential services are allowed. What we call essential services are uh, restaurants working only with delivery, uh, hospitals, um, places like here, this, uh, the red part is of, uh, of the, the companies, with of course uh, less people than uh, usual. Uh, next slide, please, Sean. Uh, so, a uh, little bit more because I have the timeline, if possible, please. Um, so, our scenario about our employees was uh, that week that I said that we should have the, the, the meeting or the conference, the big conference. We postponed all the international travels, removed all the employees that had uh, were in the risk uh, group. And we cancel all kind of meetings with uh, more than 15, 50 people. Um, on March 17th, we had a crisis committee that uh, get together people or the executive uh, uh, people from all departments to discuss uh, coordinated for what we should do. Uh, many employees went to home office. We canceled uh, all the institutional travels within Brazil, not only international. Suspended all the corporate events uh, in the Kennedy of uh, the, the side of this event. So the first uh, movements were first to try not to bring people with the virus inside the building and uh, mainly to put outside or uh, put at home uh, people that uh, were from a uh, risk group. So uh, the main objective were these two actions. Uh, after that, we have uh, other kind of uh, specific actions. War room was installed. And uh, on March 23rd, we have a concrete case of COVID-19 inside the building. Um, we uh, made all the, the, the suggestions, suggested, uh, actions to clean the, the place and nobody in that department were working there anymore. So after that, we didn't have any kind of uh, new cases there in the building. Uh, and we target to be only 20% of the total uh, people working uh, in the facilities. We have uh, three, three buildings here in Brasilia with uh, other companies that we have. So consider all the, these three buildings, the main targets uh, on March 24 was having 20% of the of, of employees working. And after four days, we reduced is number to 10% of the total. Please, next slide, uh, Sean. Uh, this is the chart that shows the evolution that we could put people at home. So the total people uh, is uh, 200 
and nine, nine, 2,900. So we have now 8.6% people working in the premises, the facilities of Bangkok and the other subsidiary companies. We have in on forced vacation, 18%, and in home office, about 70%. Please, next slide. So these are the government uh, measures. So the federal government uh, made these uh, proposals and the state governments also. So we have a fiscal target easing. We have support to vulnerable people. We have jobs, low flexibilization in order to maintain employment. For example, we reduce the journey working hours and we can pay less for them. Uh, this kind of uh, uh, measure, sometimes we need to, the Congress to approve and the Senate and everything, but they are really fast to, to approve this, these uh, measures. Uh, we have financial support to informal workers and individual entrepreneurs. Um, it was approved yesterday in Senate. It's uh, for uh, three, Monks will give about $120 per month for each person that uh, is inside this group. Uh, we have taxes rescheduling or reduction, depending on the, the place, the state, or the, the municipality. Federal financial support to states, the federal governments are doing that. Uh, financial support to airline sector. Uh, March liquidity raise, so the central bank is applying many measures to um, give money to the market. Uh, support from development bank and public banks. The BNDS is our, is our public develop, development bank in federal, and uh, many measures are centralized in the BNDS. And financial support to SMEs. Please next. So these are the the, the main uh, measures from central bank in the NDS. Central bank for uh, can you compare? You can see that in the crisis in 2008, uh, it rises to 23 billion dollars to the market, and now we have uh, more than 10 times this this amount of money that uh, the, the central bank is trying to put as a liquidity money in the market. So from the NDS, we have this SME credit for payroll. So it will help the small companies to pay their employees for two months, um, especially those who uh, receive uh, one or two minimum wages. Emergency line for health uh, sector, so special credit for capacity expansion and equipment offered for hospitals. Four billion dollars for the workers fund, increasing working capital offer, and payment suspension for our six months. Next, please. So these are the measures from Sitcoms and Bank of to cooperatives. Uh, these are these are guidelines. Uh, so we have the suspension of real estate consortium operation because the notary officers offices are uh, closed or working uh, in a slow motion. So it's difficult to do any kind of uh, selling or buying uh, real estate. Uh, life insurance coverage for death due to COVID-19. Our insurance. Uh, plans uh, didn't cover this kind of uh, disease, so now uh, it's automatically uh, covering. A replacement of bureaucracies that require fiscal presence by digital system, restructuring uh, credit lines, uh, 90 day postman, postponement of uh, uh, credit lines, offering new credit lines to strictly specific to the moment, postponement of uh, uh, cooperatives, ordinary general meetings, uh, floor sticker asking for minimum distance of two meters, so that branches that are still uh, uh, receiving people, they have to adopt this kind of uh, guideline. Of course, they can uh, uh, do more 
them uh, with uh, this, this orientation. Encouraging the use of digital service channels, so deadline for payments, dual authorization payments, digital transactions, digital services, call center, incentive to use virtual cards, incentive to use digital invoice to credit cards. So um, to try to uh, send people to mobile devices. We have a campaign that prioritizes people and uh, contagion prevention advertising pieces. And restrictions of branches operation or special operation hours, of course, according to local authorities, depending on the place that I park in Brazil, they have a specific uh, laws or uh, regulation for opening or closing the establishments. establishments. Um, next, please. So the takeaways and conclusion uh, is the structure of the code is able to support crisis despite, despite the excessive efforts to apply the possible adjustments. Any adverse consequences put off to a certain moment. So we have to focus on what is priority right now and see how we can uh, do uh, with these adverse consequences. Co-ops are working to provide any kind of help to the locals. So co-ops in very special, specific locals can help in different ways. So they are doing that. Different from banks, co-ops are still scaling loans with no raising interest rates. Um, that's something that we can see in the market. Uh, many banks are in the TVs, but when you see uh, for real what they are doing as uh, not the same we see in TV, and uh, compared to that, uh, the cops are trying to uh, the keep to keep uh, the conditions uh, as far as possible, as fair as possible. Uh, C cops cops are available to be an arm in order to distribute any additional financial help from government. C cops is the fifth largest branch network in Brazil, and we are mostly in the small places, so. That's how we can help that this uh, all uh, money resources can uh, reach the people in these uh, local areas. That's it. Um, I thank you for the attention and uh, I open to the questions if you have. Thank you. Thank you, Rodrigo, for that presentation. Um, there's a question here I see in the chat from uh, Christelle uh, from CTH in Belgium. It says uh, regarding the 90 days postponement for credits, does it concern only principal or also interest? Yeah, so the principal is so principal is the principal is it's all, all shot. I don't know who raised the question, but... Uh, uh, Christelle, that was Christelle, <laughs> and, and, and if I understand uh, correctly, because we had a conversation uh, some days ago with uh, Alan, and apparently uh, the authorities here in Belgium, uh, Christelle will correct me, but they are trying to, to, to postpone or proposing to postpone principal and interest, but I think uh, by law in Belgium, you cannot postpone interest or the... Or the, or the uh, um, also, the IT systems are not prepared to like yeah. overnight uh, do this kind of operations and, and postpone interest, and, and that's why they, they had this uh, kind of uh, concern, you know, between the measures proposed by the Belgian government and what's in, uh, you know, in the law uh, for for operating a, a bank here in Belgium. Uh, that's it. Super. It's different Maybe for it's different. Yeah. Can, can no understand more about that. It's uh, it's different uh, from for credits for companies or for uh, individuals. Uh, credit for individuals. The law uh, the law does not allow to postpone interest. So our IT system is not um, done for it. But now we sh we may have to postpone the interest too. But for, for the companies, we do what we want, I think. We can mm -hmm. do both. 
Yeah, here uh, our IT uh, team made a big effort last uh, week, weekend, to do that uh, according to those cooperatives that require this. They made like a big uh, uh, group of uh, operations and did it directly in the system. Uh, in one or two weeks, the systems will be prepared for those cooperatives who want to do this uh, filtering, what kind of operation they want to do. All right. Thanks, Rodrigo, for, for that explanation. Uh, I don't know if there is any other question or perhaps uh, anybody that wants to share any information in, in of what's happening uh, in their country or some measures that uh, they would like to, to share. It's, it's uh, not an obligation, just if you want to. Oh, hello everybody, this is Laurent from Banque Populaire in France. Uh, what can I say is uh, that we have the same uh, uh, system uh, put in place through the government. So this is a government measure. So we have made also a report of a six months uh, interest and capital and uh, for mainly our um, enterprise and uh, uh, not individuals, uh, only corporate and enterprise and, uh, and, uh, and um, SMEs. So uh, at the Banque Populaire level in France, so this is more, more than 200,000 customers uh, and this is more than 400,000 uh, contracts and it uh, represents uh, almost 20% of total loan outstanding so in our balance sheet. So we, um, our system um, for corporate is uh, uh, efficient because we, we have done it in uh, one day. So it's, uh, but I'm not sure if we can do it also for the individuals. And, and today in France, there is no report uh, asked uh, by the government for, for individuals. I don't know, maybe later um, we could hype the same, um, the same uh, request, but uh, today this is not the case. Okay, thanks, uh, Laurent. Uh, well, I think uh, all is uh, um, uh, it's uh, it's very useful also because we are uh, trying to to put together some information of the measures that the different um, organizations are taking to to face the the virus. Uh, we did like a first uh, publication or update uh, last Friday in, in a newsletter, uh, but since the news change uh, almost every day new measure new measures are in place and and things like that if you have any information like written information as well uh, that uh, you would like to share or you can share with us uh, this would be also very welcome so it helps uh, the whole uh, CVP community to uh, stay updated of what's uh, happening uh, in the different organizations and how um, are they uh, addressing all, all these issues um, Chad, or the colleagues, um, I, I have a question. Uh, how many or how is the percentage of people that you are working in your facility? Like here we have 8%. Eight, eight you have 80% of people in, in, in at home? No, I have 8, not 80, 8% 8 working in the facility. All right, 8. Yes. So maybe for, for Banque Populaire in France, so we have more than uh, um, 33,000 employees. Um, on top of that, we have one third uh, who are not working now. They are on uh, uh, illness uh, because there is a, a, a new system in France due to the virus where there is a illness given by the, um, by the government where you can uh, take care of your children or maybe you are ill, of course. So it means that one third of the employees are not working. Then we have one third working on, uh, on home office. And then after we have one, one third uh, working uh, at the branch, uh, in the branch network. And um, today uh, we have 15, 1.5% uh, of the branches uh, which are closed. Okay. Right, thanks a lot. I see also a comment uh, from Nora Dizet Bank in Germany saying that about 88% um, of the employees that are working from home, which is about 5,000 uh, employees. 
Yeah. So, 88 uh, working from home. I don't know the case uh, for Morocco uh, or for Belgium. Um, if you have for any... us, it's pretty much the same. Um, most of the departments are working from home, except communication, which uh, which are doing like rotation. Uh, but yeah, except for communication and branches, uh, mostly everybody is working from home. So what we do uh, about the work from home situation, we send like a weekly reports to top management that includes our different objectives, so that we can keep track of uh, what the different teams and the different departments are doing in terms of uh, objectives that are fulfilled while being at home. All right. Thanks, Amin. Uh, what, what about uh, in Belgium? You don't know? Okay. <laughs> Uh, personally, I don't know. Maybe Isabel or Didier, you can answer. You're on mute, Isabel. You're uh, on mute. As, as far as we are concerned, um, I, I don't know exactly, but uh, all the people who have the ability to work uh, at home are, are at home, and uh, all the branches are open, but uh, not really. Not really. They are not closed, but they are open on meeting. Uh, uh, only for appointment, under an appointment. Yes, yes. Up an appointment. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Is there any other issue, uh, Rodrigo, that you would like to to share or to ask uh, the other uh, the other members? Uh, something that you would like to know? No, Charles, that's okay. I thank you again for the attention, and uh, we are available to exchange the experience whenever uh, anyone wants. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, Xavi, maybe can you share the document that uh, Rodrigo presented? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, Thank you. I, I have a question maybe for you as, a, as an organization, uh, Rodrigo, Bettina and Signorino. How do you, how confident are you with the measures that you took and how do you monitor this? Uh, because your timeline shows indeed uh, uh, the care that you have taken also inside of your organization. Uh, would, are you still thinking about taking other human resources and business actions? Are you working on that or you feel secure with the actions that you have taken today? Ela perguntou como confiante nos estavam as ações que foram tomadas, como medir se isso é efetividade e se a gente pensa em fazer outras medidas em relação a, aos funcionários ou aos negócios. Acho que é uma semana de apoio. É, nós, nós estamos, acho que isso é importante. É, do ponto de vista aqui, é, do tratamento das pessoas, que a gente está chegando num ponto, é, me parece, apropriado, né? De, de proteção e de resposta né? para quem tem que estar aqui. E no que diz respeito às cooperativas, aqui vale a pena ser falado né? do período apoiador, é, que é uma medida de, de, de tratamento mais humanizado, especialmente humanizado, é, é, do nosso quadro social tendo cuidado de oferecer coisas que sejam absolutamente necessárias uhum. e em condições de mercado que sejam próprias das cooperativas. Esse é o tom, né? Então, a gente vai sempre orientar as cooperativas, dando instruções aqui, o que, que eles devem levar para os associados, qual é a linguagem a utilizar e que condições comerciais devem ser feitas. Então, esse é o objetivo. Então, a... Em relação às pessoas, a gente vem trabalhando já em outras condições para monitorar o que você tem em casa. Então, a gente tem vários contatos com o home office para acompanhar como é aquele trabalho, como eles estão emocionalmente, como estão em saúde, como está a família. Então, a gente tem feito um contato muito humanizado com o médico. Ok. Uh, 
uh, at me translate. Uh, considering the employees, we uh, consider employees presence. We think we already have a good number of people working here because the place is very big and uh, the place of where I am, for example, uh, we, we have about 50 people working and now we have four. So it's very safe. I come home, I come from home with my car. I use the stairs, not the elevator, so that's fine. Uh, but we have people at home. So uh, we are using the, the human resources uh, team to contact these people and follow how they are dealing with uh, this kind of work from home. Because uh, for most of people, it's the first time they are doing that. Uh, so the environment inside the, their houses is different. Uh, they schedule up uh, what they have to do during the day because they have to balance uh, kids and uh, the work is different. So uh, the team are helping them, supporting them uh, to deal with this new scenario. And uh, they are calling to the, the people and like a psychologist uh, 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 appointment, they are doing the, this kind of, uh, of work. Uh, and we have uh, uh, some kind of uh, marketing emails to say how to, to to, to work and the best ways to organize their, their daily uh, work and everything. Uh, from the point of view of uh, business, we have a special period, a special week. Yeah, it's a support period or something like that, a time buckets during the crisis that we are um, uh, creating special action to deal with this uh, environment. So, uh, for example, creating spe special packages of uh, services and products that we can offer to our uh, members and to uh, write special guidelines so that the cooperatives can, can uh, work with the centralized guideline that we feel that uh, the most uh, uh, proper for this uh, this moment, and uh, we still keep working on give this kind of different uh, uh, interest rates and different uh, prices of the products, special for the moment, and try to uh, do the best so that they can uh, use this and not to, to have problems in the future um, acquiring this uh, service. Nós vamos aproveitar para afirmar o cooperativismo, está se tornando uma grande oportunidade, porque como o cooperativismo se guia por valores, e a solidariedade é um dos valores fundamentais, nós queremos, mais uma vez, nessa crise, né, mostrar que o cooperativismo é o agente por definição é, que se interessa para a comunidade, para todos. Um, we, uh, now in Brazil, I think we have about 10% uh, 10, 10 of the people that are member in cooperatives. But we are still uh, small compared to Germany or France. So uh, we see this as an opportunity to reaffirm uh, our compromise with the locals and how different we are from the banks. And, to show that the solidarity is in our uh, main principles and this is, the, this is a moment that we can show it and people can recognize the cooperatives in the future that was an institution that made the difference. Great, thank you very much, Mr. Enio and Bettina and Rodrigo for those uh, clarifications. It's, um, I'm touched personally to hear how, how so considerate you are and in, in, in seeing globally uh, what is happening in your country and how to help out your population. And of course, uh, show that the movement is not only about uh, making the best business, uh, but also how to help out and, and you know, get, give access to financial needs in, in, in your country. Uh, one of the, I'm touched uh, by two, I was last week uh, in contact with some members to also understand 
what is happening in their country. And on a human basis, I was touched by two examples. Uh, the first one came from one of your colleagues in Brazil saying that um, as they are employees or as they have the financial means uh, to do their groceries, um, they are not in a financial crisis on a personal level. When they go uh, out to the mar supermarket, they decide to buy the um, highest quality or the highest product of, of butter, for instance, or bread, uh, in order to leave to the people more in need uh, the rudiment, the, the first aid uh, products, let's say. So if you have a butter for one euro, and you have a butter of two euros, the people who have the financial means, they pay the butter of two euros, knowing that people who need butter and who maybe don't have the means uh, or the, 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 uh, the wages or, or the economies to buy butter to leave this uh, lower product butter to, to, to the people uh, who are in need. So I think this is very conscious of them. And another example came from Canada, uh, where uh, Desjardins is already looking how to uh, put their branches to the disposal uh, of uh, sick people, should, it, so should hospital be in need, to, uh, to uh, more beds, and also uh, in the region of Lévis, so Lévis, where Desjardins uh, uh, created his first case. Uh, the hotels also are putting, with the, in, in correlation with the Desjardins, are putting their rooms, their empty hotel rooms, to the disposal of uh, hospitals and other uh, healthcare institutions, so that should they need for more beds and rooms, uh, the hotels are putting this into place. And they are very proactive indeed, and I think that uh, this exchange helps us to understand what is happening all around the world, to get some ideas on a personal basis and on a uh, business banking basis, for instance. So, thank you for this, uh, for sharing. I think also this, what you mentioned, uh, Rodrigo, earlier about the solidarity, I think it's uh, more valid uh, than ever. You know that, uh, you know, cooperative banks now, they have the chance to, uh, you know, to, to, to put into practice and to implement uh, this uh, value now in a moment uh, where we have we see like all sorts of organizations and institutions uh, claiming to you know to be uh, you know very helpful and committed to the community uh, I wonder sometimes if it's only at the marketing level so uh, you know uh, it would be interesting to see how uh, you know, in the end of, of this uh, virus, uh, you know, how, how would be in reality, you know, the situation of the different organizations, how they, they behave, and uh, certainly uh, cooperative banks with uh, Bankop and, and, and others would uh, uh, continue doing what actually they are saying they are doing. So um, we'll see if it's the case for, for every organization. I don't know if there is any other comment or anybody that would like to, to share um, anything. Okay, silence will be regarded as a no. Um, well, okay, uh, I don't know, Valeria, what do you, you think should we... Uh, Conclude or we can, should we conclude? I think, I think yes, we can conclude. And as you said, and whoever we have different communication tools, so don't hesitate to just drop a, a, a note or a help or a video or whatever should you want to to also uh, share whatever is in your heart and also what is happening in your bank. So don't hesitate to one-to-one -one, uh, WhatsApp or emails, uh, share presentations, uh, something good news. Day-to-day uh, -day news is, is nice to, in, let's say, it's nice to to receive for us and for our organization. So nothing special for today, I think. Uh, okay. Well, in any case, uh, well I think we, <laughs> yeah, and I, we thank uh, everyone for for connecting uh, today because uh, it was relatively short notice, not always uh, easy, and uh, we know that uh, uh, 
uh, you are busy with uh, many urgencies and uh, with kind of this disrupted type of life that you you are you 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 had to live right now. So um, for that reason, we very much appreciate uh, that you are here with us, um, sharing this uh, uh, this moment and 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 those uh, thoughts. So we appreciate that. Uh, so. Let's leave it then uh, like this, if we all agree, and uh, we continue uh, uh, our exchanges, email, phones, WhatsApps, and uh, we stay in touch, proposing um, um, new uh, new exchanges and, and new activities. I wish you a very good day. All of you stay safe, stay healthy. That's the most important, and we hope to see you very soon. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.